I think that because we are meaning creating machines, like human beings find meaning in anything. I mean, show somebody a cloud formation and they'll see a duck, a person, mm -hmm. a mountain range. They're clouds. There's nothing actually there. But mm -hmm. we assign meaning to things. And so if we'll assign meaning to something as abstract as clouds, uh, you know, people saying that this is a sign, that's a sign, you can imagine when you give them a narrative that actually has meaning to it, the way that people really like blow that up, it can really be internalized by them, becomes a part of them, becomes something they identify with, something they shape their own identity around. Mm -hmm. You know, for me, that movie was The Matrix. That movie completely changed my life. It gave me mm -hmm. a totally new way to view the world, to realize that the limitations that up until seeing that movie, I thought were externally placed on me, I realized were internally created. Mm -hmm. And that if they were internally created, that I could begin to change them and do things that were more empowering. So hiding in pop culture, hiding in pop mythology, are these amazingly powerful ideas, but people dismiss them as being just entertainment. And so what I want people to understand is literally for thousands and thousands and thousands of years, this was how we transmitted cultural ideas, ideas on how to improve ideas and how to hunt better, farm better, think better, treat your spouse better, like just ways to think about the world and our position in it. And we're no longer listening. So we're right. creating all this amazing mythology, but we don't know how to extract the value. And I think that the timing is right for us, quite frankly, to come along mm -hmm. and show people using social content how yeah. to interpret the traditional narrative.